Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you as a developer can get started with Octeto in just a few minutes. So let's begin. Once your platform team sets up Octeto for you and configures your account, all you need to do is go to the URL of your Octeto instance and sign in. In this case, I'm using GitHub, but your org might have set up a different mode of authentication. Once you're logged in, what you see is the default namespace Octeto creates for you, whose name is the same as your account name or your email. Namespaces in Octeto are where you deploy your dev environments. To deploy a dev environment, simply click the Deploy Dev Environment button and this will open up the Octeto catalog for you. The Octeto catalog is a list of all the applications part of your organization, pre-configured with all the settings and everything you need by your company's platform team. Choose the application you want to develop and then you'll see that Octeto will start deploying it. Once that is done, clone the application locally and open it up in your favorite code editor. Octeto works with any code editor or tools you might be using, so you don't need to change your workflow at all. Once you're in the code directory, point the Octeto CLI to your Octeto instance by running the Octeto context command. Now we are ready to get developing. Run Octeto up to start the development container for a particular microservice. You'll be prompted to select which service you want to work on and simply select the one you want and proceed. Octeto allows you to work on multiple services as well by launching another Octeto obsession in a different terminal window. Once the development container is up, you'll see that we have access to the terminal inside the dev container. You can now start the development process by running the relevant command for your application. The dev container syncs all the code you write locally with the code running on the cloud cluster, which means now that as a developer, when you write some code, you can go view your changes live instantly at the endpoints shown to you in the Octeto UI. The benefit of this approach is that you as a developer don't have to configure, deploy, or set up anything to get to the code writing phase. Just simply use the Octeto catalog. Now you're also not limited by the local machine's resources when running resource-intensive services and applications. The third benefit is that as soon as you write your code, you can see the changes in a production-like environment without waiting for CI, test, or any sort of staging environment. So this was a short guide to help you get started with Octeto as a developer. There's obviously a lot more you can do with Octeto, so head to the documentation if you want to learn more. Until then, happy hacking!